Hey, Brainiacs. Hi, everyone. My name is Dr. Shah. Dr. Maxfield. Welcome to our channel, Dr. Lee. Today, we're going to be talking about the utility of practice exams when it comes to taking the USMLE and complex examinations. So to start it off, we'll go to Dr. Maxfield. What do you think about taking practice exams? Not that useful. People don't seem to use them right. I think when I talk to people, most frequently, they're just doing a ton of practice tests like a week or two before the actual exam. That may provide you like a predictive score of how you may do, but that really doesn't add anything for you. If you're gonna do great, great. Maybe it gives you a little confidence. If you're gonna do poor, you really don't have time to adjust any of your study habits or address any of the reoccurring subjects that you're struggling with. So if you're going to do them, I'd say do them maybe one or two months ahead of time to try to learn some of the material you're struggling with. Yeah, so I use a lot of practice tests. So a little, little as you can see, there's a theme here. We did a lot of different things yeah. and uh, ended up at the same results. You know, we're both uh, dermatology residents. And so, you know, ultimately I think that there's many different paths uh, to whatever your goals are. I did a lot of practice tests. Um, I used it similar to what Dr. Maxfield said. I took them about a week apart, uh, starting about two months, three months before I took my USMLE. So every week um, or every two weeks, I would take an exam. And depending on what I got on the score, I would alter how I studied. I'd go through the missed questions and I would decide on each question that I missed this question because I didn't know the concept, like they were testing me on DeGeorge syndrome and I didn't know DeGeorge syndrome. So now I gotta go back and review some of those disorders. Or did I get it wrong because I couldn't answer the question properly? And now do I have to just do more questions? And so I used it and I used every practice question I've ever done as a way to improve on the next practice question. And so I did a lot of them as a way to improve how I was studying. A little caveat here also is that the NBME uh, practice exams called the CBSSA or Comprehensive Basic Science Self-Assessment Exams. I don't know if I can say that. I probably can. Did you hear him blow through that acronym though? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. The other utility I think of practice exams is that it gives you confidence going to the test. And I know Dr. Maxfield mentioned this, but you know, confidence is a huge thing. Knowing that you're gonna go into that test and you're gonna perform similar to how you did on previous exams, super important. So for me, um, I saw my score continuously go up on the practice exams that I used from the MBME, which I think are the best predictors of how you're gonna do on the USMLE. That's your uh, CBSSA exams, your comprehensive basic science self-assessment exams. I think how you do on those almost guarantees how you're gonna do on the real test. There is some variation there, but it is a pretty good predictor. And so for me, seeing my score go up every week when I would take these practice exams, it gave me the confidence that when I went into the test that I would score similarly. And I was confident in my answer choices. I was less likely to change my answer choices. And so I think it's good in that way. The last thing I'll say about this is there's something called the free 120. It changes every year what they call it, but it's a, it's a practice exam that's given for free by the NBME and you can actually take it at a Prometric testing center and it's free to do this. So you'll go to the Prometric testing center, they'll give you this exam. It's the exact same format as the real test. And so now the first time you go in and take the test in that same setting, take it at the same testing center that you're gonna take the real exam at, you'll be having the exact same setup. And so I think that gives you comfort knowing how the test day is gonna go, the format of the exam. Um, so I think a lot of this just goes into the mentality of things, the confidence that it takes to take this exam. I think that it's a good way to improve the way that you test. So you're on board with using you're on board with this a lot. So you're on board with using multiple ones throughout the year early on. You're on board with not only doing them as it gets closer to build your confidence, but you're also on board with going out of your way to take an additional practice test at the testing center. I would yep. say of all of those, I would maybe just do the last thing if you're someone who's like pretty nervous about how you're gonna do or, or a nervous tester. I just liked it. It gave me every week I would take it and I would just, every, every time I would study, I would just feel like I was on the right path, you know? Yeah, sure, you could do that. Or you could just track your scores and your question banks. Yeah, you could do that. Because these aren't, a lot of these aren't free. You're pay, people are paying a lot of money for these practice tests. That's true. It is um, expensive, it adds up. I don't but, know if there's a lot of return for your buck. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. 
It's hard to say. Yeah, it is hard to say. Thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We'll be doing more videos like this. Uh, if there's anything that you'd like to see, drop it in the comments and we'll try to make a video about it. Good luck on your test. And at least the water's salty. We're gonna, <laughs> that's not our tagline, everyone, <laughs> please.